to enjoy your children, right? Amen. Hallelujah. This might be one of the shortest sermons I've ever preached. I'm just going to see how the Lord uh, runs this thing. Amen. Uh, before we get into the Word, um, Brother Brown, would you go ahead and bless it for us, my friend? Father, we just thank you for being yes. nice. Father, we just thank you for being God all by yourself. Father, we ask you to touch our minds and hearts. We might receive this word that you had to bring to us tonight. And Father, Lord, just touch our minds and hearts. So, so that when you get it delivered, Lord, it just really touches us way down deep. And Father, we ask you all in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 13. <clears throat> Verse 8 is a scripture I want to look at tonight. Script uh, Hebrews chapter 13. Verse 8 um, says, Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Mm -hmm. Pretty plain, pretty bold there. Just uh, Jesus Christ the same yesterday, and today, and forever. Um, I think that scripture is pretty explicit. What do you think? Right. I mean, I don't think there's too much room there for interpretation. I don't think we have to go back to the Greek or the Hebrew or for that one. I don't, I don't know that we can twist that one too much if we want to. I mean, if we, even if we wanted to, right? Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And what I wanted to speak on just a little bit tonight is it doesn't matter how much we want God to change, we're not going to change him. Amen? And no matter how much we want Jesus Christ to be different, Jesus Christ is not going to be different. No matter how much we want the Holy Spirit to speak a different way, it's not going to speak a different way. Amen. We need to understand that's just the way it is. Amen. And these people today, these church folks today, need to realize you're not going to change God's mind, amen, about sin, and you're not going to change grace. I mean, Jesus Christ, He died. The sacrifice He made fulfilled the law. He gave us for us. Uh, the blood sacrifice so we can be redeemed from our sins and we can have um, salvation through Him. It's not going to change. The grace that He gave us will not change. Amen. We cannot. The Scripture says we can try to pervert it, but regardless, it's going to be the same. Amen. That's right. If Jesus Christ said repent, it means repent. If the Lord told us that certain things were an abomination to Him, then certain things are still an abomination to Him. That's if right, He right. tells us that things are a sin, then they are still a sin. Amen? Right. If He tells us not to do something, He still means don't do it. If He tells us to do something, He still means to do it. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. I heard somebody say here a while back, they said, well, you know, I believe if Jesus was here today and if He saw the way society was, He'd be a little bit different. See, what you don't understand is back then they believed this way and that way and they did things a certain way. But see, we don't do things that way anymore and we don't believe things that way. So if Jesus was here now, Jesus would act a little bit differently and He would talk a little bit differently. Crazy. And I'm sorry, that is the, one of the most ridiculous ideas that is unbiblical. Right. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 right then explicitly told us He's the same yesterday, today, on, and forever. Amen. Yeah. So I mean, there's no way. To, there's no way around it. Amen. We can't change it. Jesus is going to be who Jesus is. Amen. Right. When Jesus comes back to get His people, Amen, and take us to the place that He's prepared for us, Jesus is not going to come back to us and say, "Yeah, I know that I said this, but you know, I've just changed my mind." No, that's not going to work. When we get to the throne room of judgment, and the, and the Lord opens up that book, and He starts uh, reading there, and when we have to give an account for every word we said and every deed we did, Jesus is not going to look and say, you know, I know that these things, I told you these things are wrong, but we're just going to look over that. God is not going to change. He's not going to say, you know, I know I told you this, but you know, now that I reconsider, you know, and I, now that I think about things, no, God is not going to change. The Lord is not going to change. Jesus Christ is not going to change. The Holy Spirit is not going to change. I've heard people say stuff like, you know, well, the Holy Spirit might minister to one person one way, and He'll minister to somebody else a little bit different way. Right. And brotherly, He might come to you and say that this is wrong, but He might not. You know, might go to somebody else and say it's okay. No, it's not. It's not going to be like that. Amen. If the Holy Spirit directs you that something is wrong, Amen. It is wrong. 
He's not going to go to somebody else and say, look, no, it's okay for you and it's wrong for them. See, there's a lot of preachers today that have this thing twisted. They believe that their congregation and people shouldn't be doing certain things, but then you find the preachers doing the same thing they're preaching against and they really think they're okay. And we see Christians in the world that keep telling people, you know, you ought not be doing this and she ought not be doing that and they're doing the same exact things. Amen? And we need to understand the Holy Spirit don't work like that. Right. I mean, He is who He is. He is who He's always going to be. Right. Amen? He's not going to change. And there's people out there today that believe that, you know, we're gonna, they, can, they can change Jesus Christ's attitude. And they can change who He is. And you know, they might have changed the image of Jesus Christ through the years, you know. You've heard me say many times they've turned Jesus into the tree-hugging, hippie Jesus, you know. That I love you and you love me. He's the Barney the Dinosaur of Jesus, you know. I love you, you love me, we're a happy family, you know. But that's not the Jesus of the Bible. We might portray Him a little bit differently. We might see Him a little bit differently. We might even want Him to be a little bit different. But we need to understand this. Jesus is who He is, and He is who He was, and He's going to be the same forever. Amen? That's right. That's and we right. need to quit getting in our head that we can, we can change things. Amen? That's right. So, I know this was kind of a short sermon tonight. I told you guys it would be quick. But uh, I'm going to challenge you guys this week as we go our separate ways. So try not to get full of yourself, and try not to uh, mold God to fit what we want him to. Try not to pigeonhole him into the hole you want him to be. Try not to change the image of the uncorruptible God into um, something that's corruptible. Try not to form your own idea of Jesus. But understand that Jesus, he is who he is. And don't expect Jesus to change. Amen. Don't expect to. And if we hear people with these crazy mixed up ideas that, you know, Jesus is, would be different now. And yeah, I know Jesus said that 2,000 years ago, but He wouldn't say that now. When we hear people say that, understand Hebrews guarantees us that He is not going to be different. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 says, He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Amen. With that, I'll turn it over to the pastor. Amen, brother. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Awesome word. Awesome word. Awesome, awesome, awesome. He said, Amen. <laughs> All right, well, guys. This uh, this all stand uh, all of the building, and we'll uh, uh, we'll uh, say a uh, uh, a uh, prayer, amen. And uh, 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 Brother Bobby, have, uh, have, have you got a song song on your heart or anything? To... Not really. I, I put a Christmas song. Yeah. Download. I downloaded some of the kids here and uh, put on that. It's got the words to it and the music background. Yeah. But I didn't know if y'all wanted that.